This scamming TikTok user by the name of Blue Eyed Beardy, aka No Good Option, has somehow successfully duped the entirety of TikTok with fake videos that lead the viewer to believe that literally the largest volcano in the United States is about to erupt and destroy everyone and that the government is evacuating his family without any of their belongings while also forcing him to remain silent about the impending doom that faces most of the central United States. Sorry, I know that sentence was a handful and a lot to process, but if that sounds insane, make sure you keep watching to see just how foolish this entire ruse is. Sadly, countless people have already donated thousands of dollars to this fraud and the grift would have continued had his local sheriff's office not stepped in earlier today. But you know, we'll get to that portion of this story, this insane story I might say, in a bit. For now, I'll show you the video that got this scamming fool's account popping on TikTok in the first place. And all I ask is that you like this video if you would like to see more content like this in the future as I'd love to start a series exposing TikTok frauds because that app is rife with sketchy behavior and scams. Anyways, what you are seeing right now is the first video I saw posted by Blue Eyed Beardy where he is showcasing some weird phenomenon where his lawn is literally steaming. I'll be the first to admit I have no idea what could cause this unless it's some fog or something like that and I'm not going to try to take the time to figure it out or like how you could possibly fake this video because trust me I have more than enough evidence in this video to prove this guy is faking this entire thing without a shadow of a doubt and all of you guys will agree with me. But basically he posts this video saying wow this is really freaky guys what do you think this is? Obviously baiting comments and that's where he gets his first comment that he replies to, stating, As long as you're not near Yellowstone, you should be good. This leads to our first clip of this bozo's amazing acting that you will see in full force here. And as soon as I saw this reply a few videos down on my For You page, I instantly had a hunch that this dude was bogus. Um, are, you, are you serious? Because I'm actually pretty close. I'm about 30 minutes outside of Casper, Wyoming. Um, the lake is the Alcova Reservoir, if anybody knows it. So... It's not really a lake, it's a reservoir, but... They now, of course, this is a bit subjective, but in my eyes, it's obvious that dude is acting in that clip. I also find it preposterous that he is a grown-ass man does not make the connection that, that maybe he might live near Yellowstone, and maybe Yellowstone itself contains one of the most massive super volcanoes on the planet that has been dormant for, like, an eternity. Pretty sure most people would be aware of that, but, you know, this is just a start, though, so if you aren't convinced, let me lead you deeper down the rabbit hole, as the real hilarious evidence is still to come. The next clip Blue-Eyed Beardy posts directly after this, the whole Yellowstone epiphany that he just had is important because here we see the main ammunition and driving force behind this scam, his family. It's unnecessarily hateful, dude. And here's what you're saying, because I have five children, my wife's grandmother who's 94, and of course my wife that lives in this house. You want them all to die by a volcano because you don't like TikToks? Just unfollow them! So now you see, this man has five children, a wife, and the children's great-grandmother living with him. If this super volcano erupts, much like his yard is indicating it's about to, they will all perish. Of course, something like that is going to immediately capture many of the viewers on TikTok that lack critical thinking skills and will pull on their heartstrings like no other. For people with terrible BS detectors, all they see at this point is an extremely worried father trying to save his family that are all facing imminent doom. It's a powerful tool in his arsenal, and don't worry, Blue-Eyed Beardy turns up the stakes even further later on in the story, so lying about even his family facing a terrible fate is not off the table for this scumbag. But back to the story, envision yourself in his shoes now. He just posted that response to that terrible hate comment, and I'm sure now he's really on edge. Let's see what he posted directly after this. Listen, and don't scroll because I want to give you some money right now. Check it out. I love playing games and I want to play a game this Christmas, okay? So on this piece of paper, I've written a number. It is between one and let's say 10 million. Maybe you can get a hit for this. So if you can guess the number that I have written down here, I'll pay you at least $100. But for every million views that this video gets, I'll actually up the prize pool by 50 bucks. So if we can get this bad boy to 2 million views, that's a $200 prize pool. Come on, you can do the math. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, hold up. Just just you wait a damn minute, please. So so let's get this straight. He's not necessarily thinking his family is in immediate danger, obviously, because he's able to run some sort of scummy 2014 engagement farming YouTube game where you guess a number and he's giving at least a hundred dollars to the winner. The wording on that alone is hilarious and shows this guy is just all around greasy. I mean, you are like 40 something years old, bro. And if it's true, you do have five children to take care of. Maybe you should focus on doing that instead of running fake giveaways on TikTok 
for views and trying to get cool AI images generated of you. Oh yeah, if you don't know what that is, I should probably also mention his feed was still filled with him doing this silly AI image trend throughout this entire saga until his family gets evacuated. We'll get into that. But never mind all that, he just gives us more information like stating multiple times that the steam coming from his lawn smells like rotting eggs. And here's where I have another issue with believing that he is a fully functioning grown adult. If this is real, just giving him the benefit of the doubt, all right? I just don't buy that you can be 40 something years old and not know what sulfur smells like, which is rotting eggs. And he even on video fake reacts like he is just now discovering what it is in the first place and that sulfur might be an indicator of volcanic activity. Did this dude like not take a science class at all in school? I'm just very confused by this. <laughs> but still, we are in the very basic stages of his lies somehow and he's already fumbling the story this much. I'm sure most of you understand this is BS already, but you know what? Let's keep going. So after posting more quote evidence of his neighbor's house having a similar phenomenon, which could have easily been explained by, by, I don't know, washing clothes and having a vent for the dryer on the side of the house like many houses do. But after this evidence, the story picks up massively in the pace department as unfortunately there is no video evidence of this. But immediately after posting that, the local authorities came knocking on this man's door, telling him that he has to leave immediately. And wouldn't you know it, they literally didn't even give this man time to grab his wallet. Oh, and did I mention this is all happening on Christmas morning? Oh man, I can't believe it. This poor father of five that is also taking care of some 130 year old mummified great grandmother of his that probably looks like the lady that doesn't like chocolate from SpongeBob has to pack up and leave their home with no plan on Christmas morning in freezing temperatures and they don't even have wallets so they can have money for gas. Now I'm sure if you have half a brain at this point, you can tell where this is going. Conveniently located in his bio until around the time I was downloading all of these videos, this man had his PayPal and Cash App information smack dab in the middle of his bio. He had to take it down as well as change his username from blue eyed beardy to no good option. So you might see that watermark on some of these videos as well as remove his profile picture as more and more people were wisening up to this scam. But who knows how much money gullible people donated to him before he changed all of that. Here he even admits to people donating. All right, we're all heading east. Um, some very kind people have donated a few bucks so we're able to actually get on the road. Yep, did you hear that? Some very kind people donated only a few bucks. Man, even the wording on that is so scummy and reeks of minimizing just how much metric buttloads of money people were probably sending this guy in just a few hours of his story breaking. I want you to read the text on this next post and pay attention to what is in the larger font because that's truly what he wants you to focus on. This was supposedly the morning after they got kicked out by the authorities. They have since gotten a hotel room and he says, we left the hotel. We still don't have our funds, but hopefully we'll be okay until the banks open on Tuesday. We have family in Kentucky, but can't get a hold of them, and we have no other choice of where we can go. No wallets, no banks. Give me money, please. Not allowed to go back home. I mean, just look at how he's framing this terrible situation in order to maximize the emotional response of gullible people watching this. It's sickening and honestly disgusting that not only were his children featured in the background of some of these update videos, but he's making up some scenario where they are in grave danger just for clout or profit. And I wonder what's going on in these kids' heads. Do they think, oh, my dad's just lying for some likes on TikTok? Or do you think there's a part of them that's actually scared as he's driving them around on the frozen roads during Christmas time, making up this plot line where he's just on the run from the government and from like explosions? Seriously though, what a coward of a father and a sad excuse for a man. I know I keep saying this, but I still have the most ridiculous evidence of his scams to come. I just want to first highlight some comments that give you a peek into how easily people were falling for this and how many people are still falling for it most likely if these videos are still up. Here a user says, a lot of people are saying you're scamming. And his response is, a lot of people are wrong. I'm not asking for anything, but just want to make sure everyone knows the truth. Oh man, what a martyr. Accepting gifts, of course, to his PayPal that is prominently displayed on his bio as as soon as anyone opens his profile as a result of seeing this emotionally disturbing series of videos he's made. But other than that, he's not asking for anything, guys. He just wants to bring the truth. This user even responds and says, thank you. I believe you. Just letting you know in case you didn't. I'll believe someone on TikTok over the news, which is just a bundle of dumbassery that I don't think I can get into right now for the sake of keeping this video as focused as possible. But there is legit confusion in many of these comments. People saying things such as, is this real life and really happening right, damn? Which are mainly harmless, you know, those types of comments and proof that this guy's story was convincing enough for most, but what really makes his story twisted is how quickly it delved into conspiratory lunatic territory. Holy cow, say that five times fast. Anyways, but it's where everybody thinks they are blessed to have gotten this obscure underground breaking news story on their For You page that no one else is keen to at the moment or aware of, and they're a part of this secret elite club that knows that Yellowstone is about to blow. I mean, just look, many users are encouraging this fraud, saying things like, keep talking about it. 
don't go back. And, um, if he goes missing, <laughs> we'll know what happened. Or other things such as, stop sharing your location, as if this man's in actual danger here. With the cream of the crop, at least that I saw, being this genius of an ASMR creator stating with full confidence, confirmed, Yellowstone is showing signs of eruption. Prayers fought everyone. Confirmed? Where the hell have I been that I missed confirmation of this possible humanity collapsing event happening? This is the problem that I have with misinformation like this and why I wanted to make this video exposing this fake and disgusting man. Some people still might not get why I'm so jazzed up about this, but for some of you that have been personally affected by having loved ones delve into the world of conspiracy and terribly obvious misinformation campaigns, know the pain and almost loss of sanity that comes with seeing somebody that you know and love deteriorate mentally from this BS that seems to be everywhere at this point. I know I've been personally affected by it, and it stands as one of the biggest threats to our modern civilized world in my opinion, so while it may not seem that big to some of you, this man scamming people out of money and fear-mongering for no reason other than to gain notoriety online is just absolutely disgusting to me and I have no regrets on anything I've said. And for those of you that see stuff like this and think things like these comments that state, you found something out man, something's about to happen, they don't want anyone knowing about, keep me posted please. And of course they're mad, that's how they get you when they don't want the masses to know the truths about things going on. You need to realize that you do not belong to some exclusive club of exciting knowledgeable people that know this very important secret that could save humanity. You aren't the main character of a blockbuster movie. What group you do belong to, however, is the group of adults that lack the critical thinking skills to really step back and think about what you're doing or saying or being led to believe. There is no bigger story here. I don't care what you think of the government, if something is massive as the Yellowstone Super volcano possibly exploding was about to happen, you know that more than only this one middle-aged moron on TikTok would be going off about it, alright? But enough playing around. I've been hyping this up. I want to get to the final chapter of this story that contains, in my opinion, the most hilariously obvious and stupid portion of Blue-Eyed Beardy's lies. I'm just going to let this clip play. It's an update from the road as he's still having to drive tons of hours with his family to safety at this point. And yeah, I just want you to look at what happens. Hey, for those of you that live in like the Southern Illinois, Kentucky area. Is there a place that we can? Okay, all right, I, I gotta compose myself here, for real. Please, do me a favor. After seeing this video, raise your hand if you think the clip you just saw was real. Now, if you are currently raising your hand, you must now go find the nearest corner of your room and stand there with your nose against the wall for 10 minutes as you are in timeout. That is like the worst fake video I've ever seen, and any cognitive adult should understand that. I mean, beyond the acting being terrible, we won't even talk about that. Just listen to the audio of this car crash. Kentucky area, is there a place that we can... I know it sounds ridiculous, but at this point with how much media all humans consume every day, we have gotten special powers at detecting things in audio and visual media, and you can hear the direction this sound is coming from after he gets supposedly ran into. It is literally coming from the location of the speakers in the front of the car, and the thinness of the audio itself, if that's the way to describe it really, is so obvious, like you know deep in your soul watching this, that those noises were not being produced by the outside of the car. And the car crash sound effect itself is so drawn out and ridiculous too, it's not even composed well. You're telling me he got rear-ended with such force and only upon impact did this 18-wheeler that slammed into him decide to lay on their horn? Not before ramming into his car? And you know what? It sounded so much like a goofy movie sound effect that I decided to do some digging and let's just say my shovel barely had to break ground before I was able to find what I needed. I kid you not, this is a screen recording of my phone. If you search car crash sound effects on YouTube, this exact same sound effect is literally the first video result. Kentucky area, is there a place that we can... It's actually almost hilarious how foolish this man is, and you could tell he's trying to pull off this ruse with very little knowledge of how technology itself actually works. Like, he's going about all of this in the most boomer way imaginable, and that's why it kind of made me so sad to see how many people of all ages were believing this BS. The description on this clip reads, So this just happened. Wow. Much luck is the worst. 
we're all okay, thank God. We are at a local hospital and being evaluated, and hopefully we'll be allowed to go on our way. Someone from an unnamed government agency is going to be meeting me here later to discuss some concerns. I mean, what the hell is that? This whole thing reads like some crappy Wattpad fanfiction that some dorky teenager wrote up in the mid-2000s. Like, seriously, real life just does not unfold like this. He was even posting update clips from the hospital where they apparently gave his family some entire section of the hospital to themselves. That's another angle I don't get. Some of the extra lies in this story don't even seem all that necessary. It just added to the confusion and the sloppiness of this whole narrative this guy is trying to spin for us. Along with some more hospital updates and terrible Google Map JPEGs of snowy car crashes, the story kind of fizzles out from here, at least when I was keeping up with it last night. And uh, for my sanity's sake, we're not going to go too much further. But what is hilarious to close this off is the only reason this man removed his donation info from his bio was of course the heat he was getting from some users exposing his scams over on TikTok, but also the actual sheriff's office for the county he lives in had to post an extensive PSA stating that they personally sent officers out to the area of this supposed activity. And shocker, there was none, no steam coming out of the ground, as well as a massive reminder in this post of the insidious nature of scams like this and why you should never be willy-nilly about sending money to people's donation links unless you have all the info to prove that they do indeed need help. I'm sure this dude is crapping bricks right now with the thought of the possible implications of this ruse and I do honestly hope that he can somehow face charges for this because uh, it's just ridiculous. As a final piece of evidence you can go back to this dude's older videos from months ago where he's trying very surface level attempts at making these weird scary cryptic posts about other crazy phenomena that is sure to rile people up. I mean seriously the whole capitalize certain letters thing, a preschooler could decipher that and still people think they are geniuses or spies, basically, for understanding his hidden messages in his posts. But honestly, who knows how much money this man was able to siphon from people who got emotionally manipulated by his story and his unfortunate Christmas nightmare his family endured. All that I know is the internet is rife with characters like this, and hopefully if you were gullible and believe this man's story, some of the thought processes I talk about in this video can help you with having a bit more critical thought when it comes to scenarios like this. Remind yourself of the bias you enable when you get excitable and you feel like you are a part of something that a select few people are privy to. That is just one of the main ways these misinformation campaigns get to you. Anyways, that does it for today's video. Please drop a like and a comment if you watch all the way through, as I will use that as a judge on if I should continue this series. This video was a ton of work, but a lot of fun to make too. So huge thanks to my supporters over on Patreon for helping me out over there. And check it out if you want bonus content featuring Facecam. Until next time, peace out.